All right, now we're going to move to the program called Cerebro. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'll just do it right now. We'll cut the video. Cerebro. So we're going to go back to the Amazon product page. I'm just going to take one for example. Uh, what was our typical price in here? Let's find out. I think it was about $9, just so I'll grab one of those. I'll show you what this other what this program does over here. All right, it's pulling some data. All right, 983. Okay, so I'll just make sure I grab something like that around the 983 price. So we'll go right here with these. It's not sponsored. Okay, just make sure I'm not using a sponsored one because it's not good for data either. So we're gonna come down and uh, get the ASIN. Uh, is it loading? Let me pass it. Let's find out. Oh, okay. It looks like we have it right here. Okay, here's the ASIN right here. Copy that. Then we bring it over to this program. This is a paid program also. Data. Data is valuable. It's a precious resource, so you know, it's going to help you make money. You kind of have to pay for this stuff. So this uh, is going to go ahead and pull the search terms and search term volumes that get this product on page one, or what the words it's, it's indexing for. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, sort this by exact phrase. Exact phrase is kind of the, the better one to work with because it's exact, you know, it's People are exactly typing this. It's not uh, kind of this order or any of that. That's the search phrase. Uh, the, that's what they call the broad phrase. We want to use exact. It has more, more, you have more control, more, more control of the intent. So right here, uh, by volume, pacifier, pacifier clip, pacifier holder. And what you do is you get about three of these listings and we're gonna put them all three together into a report and from there we're gonna look for uh, a search term that we could use uh, to index our product with and right here it has competing number of competing products that are indexing for that same search term so we use this as well to kind of analyze competition and we also use the volume to help us figure out um, which words we want to use that match with our product. So you're going to have to go through, through some data, put it through Excel, and look at it to decide which ones we, we want to focus on. And so what we do is we'll get another one and and it'll come out as one report. I'll do another video on that one. Uh, the, the search term volume is important because we're going to end up using this to decide the one we're going to focus on when we do the product giveaway or uh, discount codes or Facebook promo. And that's what we're going to use over an eight day period. We need to give around, do, sell, or give away X number of units in that period through the offer in order to index for the search terms that we want uh, and that's what this information is going to help us figure out okay so now we're going to talk about what these different columns are are here on this uh, cerebro chart so we put in the ASIN for the product up here and then it generated the search terms that it knows are being used on Amazon. So let's start with the phrase. First, right here is the exact, the, well, the, the phrase that's uh, indexing on Amazon. Uh, Cerebral IQ score, we'll talk that, about that one last. Uh, exact phrase match means this is exactly what the people are typing on Amazon to find that are matching to that phrase. Broad phrase, uh, Amazon's a little bit more liberal with the matching, 
you know, it could kind of be in the order, maybe one or two different words. You have the plurals and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, and then it'll still still match them. But, and sponsored ads on Amazon, you, there's actually a pay system where you could pay for for some ads on the on the side and on the top. Uh, sponsored are more the ones off to the right hand side, and the headline ones are more the ones right on top like the first ones that are even ahead of the search of your search so those are kind of the best ones because they're they're right in your face uh, they're a little bit harder to use less people use them because you have to be in brand registry to use those although recently they started letting more uh, sellers in without brand, brand registry so uh, more people will probably start using headline ads now and competing products this is the number of competing products that are using the same this search term uh, okay so all these numbers what are they all good for these numbers help calculate this number which is called the cerebral cerebral IQ score and that number looks for a space in the middle that is doesn't have too many competing products but doesn't have too many uh, people paying for sponsored ads against the keywords that you might want to use for the product. So it, it does a ratio and it kind of figures out, all right, well, what's some good opportunity here that is not so competitive so that you could come in and uh, use the ones with the high score for your product. So you kind of want to look through the ones with the high score and the ones that make sense you use, the ones that don't make sense you don't use, and you're gonna use them for your uh, in your product name because that's where you're gonna index the most. Uh, the rest of your description and all that that doesn't really index that that well. Uh, the highest indexing part of your your product is gonna be the product name. So you want to make sure you try to use as many of these phrases as you can that make sense. You don't want to write a huge title that starts getting kind of crazy just to stuff uh, terms in there. So that's why it's really important to look through the competing products you're going to compete with. And you're going to sort through this information with the cerebral score. And it's going to help you come up with a good product title for your product that you're going to use for your product listing.